Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be teaching you guys how to build a hot air balloon in Minecraft. This is going to be a tutorial video based off of a builder's challenge video that I did back in September. So it's been quite a while since I did this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this hot air balloon, kind of do a step-by-step -step process on how to build it. Because actually, it is a pretty simple looking build, but it's actually pretty complicated. So I'm going to walk you guys through it and we're going to get this thing done. So I have a little uh, wooden plank as a platform up here. You just want to kind of build all the way up in the sky. I'm as you can see above the uh, suburban area of Los Angeles. So what I'm going to do is just get started. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and place one block on each side of your wooden plank. And then you're going to go ahead and place another block, another lining of three more above that. You want to place a block and then skip a block. And then you want to go three more out and three more above that. So you kind of have like, I guess, a little L shape with the, uh, an opening right there. And you want to just kind of wrap this all the way around until you have a square with uh, the edges kind of broken. So basically like this. And you want to have a three by three, just like that. All right, cool. So the next thing you wanna do is go underneath and place a slab. Then you wanna place a slab next to it and then break the slab you placed underneath of the plank. And then basically just fill in this entire space here. Um, that's gonna be kind of like the pouch. We're starting off with the little pouch of this particular build. So uh, what you wanna do is actually go ahead and fill in, um, the, I guess the first level here with some more slabs right there. And that's gonna be a great start. So the next thing you wanna do is choose any side that you want. If you want it to be facing a certain direction, this doesn't really matter because the entire thing is symmetrical on all four sides. So you can open up one spot and place a trap door right there. And that's just gonna be kind of like the entrance into the pouch. And then what you wanna do is place spruce wood planks on each one of these corners here, and then leave the middle spot opened up. And in that middle spot, you're gonna go ahead and place an upside down spruce slab. And you wanna place it on each corner except for the one above the trap door. Then what you wanna do is break open the, uh, I guess the plank of oak below the spruce wood slab, and then place a oak wood pl uh, slab. Wow, this is kinda hard to say. Um, on each one of these levels here. So you kind of have like a one block space here, but it's kind of like a slab and a slab, you know what I mean? So there's kind of like a half of each block on that's full space. So like in theory, you would think you could put a full block there, but you actually can't. So that's what you want to do with the pouch. And this is kind of like the windows you can look out on. So um, that is basically what we're going to be doing for the pouch. So let's go ahead and start to get up to the actual balloon. So what you want to do is on each one of these corners here, uh, you want to go ahead and place a fence block going all the way around like that. So you should have a total of eight fence blocks. And then you want to take each one of these fence blocks up three more after the base one. So, or the initial block. So you want to go one, two, three, basically giving you four in total. And you want to do that on each one of the corners, all eight sides. And this is going to be kind of the little uh, connection to the actual balloon itself. Um, and then we're going to start to put in this balloon. So uh, the balloon design itself, guys, is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to try to take it as slow as I possibly can because it's a lot of um, layers and patterns that you have to follow, so it can get a little bit tricky at times. So we're going to get started right now. First thing you want to do is place a wool block, and you can choose any color wool block you want. I'm going to be using blue for this uh, video. Um, it looks probably good in any color, so you can choose what you want. The, the whole idea is to add patterns to it at the end, but we're just going to start out with one base color. Uh, to get started here so let's go ahead and place the first block right above the fence block and basically you just want to place a block on top of each one of these fence blocks here going all the way around and then once you have that done you want to go ahead and fill in the space in between each one of those so basically we're doing exactly what we did before with the oak wood planks creating a square with the edges broken off basically just like that all right so the next thing we're going to do is take that up another layer exactly the same that we had so it's going to be a two by two or so, or I guess a two blocks tall. So just like that, and that's kind of our first step. Next thing we're gonna do is kind of take this out another level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a block right there, and then I'm gonna place a block going off on both sides of that, and then we're gonna break the block in the middle. It's not 100% necessary to break the blocks that you need to place, um, the blocks on the outside edge, uh, but on the interior of the balloon, it looks better if you break them all. So we're gonna kind of just take this around, Again, you want to just kind of break in place, going all the way around, and kind of just fill around the edges here. Kind of create yourself kind of like a little lining around the top layer. And that's basically how it's going to work. It's going to kind of just expand outward, basically, like a balloon. All right, so the next step on this task is to go ahead and place three more blocks on top of each one of these th uh, three-by-one parts of blue wool, so like that. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place an extra block on the outside of this. So it's going to create like a really wide T shape on each one of these corners here. So just place an extra block on the second level of that going all the way around just like this. And there you go. You kind of you have like, a, again, a really, really wide T shape going all the way around. So that is looking absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and move on to the next level, which we're basically going to do the same idea where we kind of just take an outer lining and you just want to kind of break in place going all the way around pretty much like this. It's real simple. So I'm just going to kind of take this and wrap it all the way around. It's going to get a lot more complicated once we get towards the middle. So again, like I said, I'm going to go as slow as possible during the ch more challenging parts. So now that we have, let's see, we have five levels done. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next level, which again is going to be very similar. This is just kind of like a break in place level where you just kind of want to wrap it around. Um, as long as you're following along visually, it shouldn't be too hard to follow this, but you just kind of want to, you know, break in place, break in place, make sure you place it on the right blocks. You just kind of have it run all the way around, break in place, break in place, break in place. And I'm going to start off with the base color and then add some cool patterns at the end. And I'll recommend some different patterns that you can do. But if you have something that looks a little bit like this, then you are absolutely on the right track to start off. So let's go ahead and continue onward. So the next thing we're going to do is add yet another level of kind of like, uh, I guess, wrapping around the outside. But this is going to be a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a block and then break it. And then what I'm going to do is place another block right there. But instead of breaking and placing like that, we're actually going to keep that block right there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So like this, kind of have that. And underneath here, you kind of see that this is not being kind of edged off like that. You know what I mean? So you want to be able to keep that. So you can kind of just have this block, you know, run straight through real simple like this. You know what I mean? So just like that. And this is going to be like this on every single side. So we're going to have this go all the way down. And you can go ahead and just kind of snake it around. You don't even need to break in place for this part, except for kind of the outside part. But you just want to kind of snake this all the way around, have it come back over here. Again, same idea. So you break in place on the first uh, outside block. I guess it's place and break. It's not place, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Just do what I'm doing. <laughs> all right. So this is going to go all the way around like that. There we go. So we have our, what is that? Seventh or sixth level, something like that. And this is looking great so far. So the next level is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. So just try to follow along as best as you can. All right. So we're going to do a little bit more of placing and some breaking. Uh, this is going to be the last level of this for a little bit, but let's go ahead and do that right now. So again, just kind of place and break going all the way around. Just kind of fill it on the outside perfectly. And uh, the way I built this thing originally was getting some ideas from my castle. Um, because my the roofs of my castle are actually kind of like a similar idea where I'm kind of creating like a circle in Minecraft, like a perfect circle. And it's difficult to do, so you kind of have to get the hang of it. It's really all about patterns and manipulating shapes. You just got to take it one layer at a time. If you try to do like outside layers first, it gets a little bit tricky. Um, even though we actually are going to be doing a little bit of that later on, but it's going to be very, very simple for the sake of the tutorial, I guess you could say. All right, so we have this right now, and this is looking pretty good. So the next level we're going to do, guys, is going to... This is going to be the part where it starts to get a little bit complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste a block out like this and take it out one, two, three, four, five like that. So essentially what you want to do is coming down from here where you have this wide T, you want to make sure that there's one, two, three, four, five levels up. And if you're at that point, then you are absolutely golden. So let's see. Um, so we're going to have one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one up is going to be um, actually trimmed down a little bit. So it's going to be three blocks like that. I'm going to turn off the daylight cycle real quick. So we have uh, something we can see. In fact, I'm going to sleep off the night because it's already way too late anyway. Okay, guys. So getting back to work here now that it is morning here in the world. Uh, getting back to what I was saying right here. Basically, you want to have one, two, three, four levels up from this wide T. And you're going to have another level here, but there's only going to be three blocks wide on this one instead of the uh, five that I originally said. So what you want to do from this is kind of just extend it out one level and going up like this. So every single time you go up, just kind of take it out to uh, one extra block on each side. So it starts with three, then it goes to five, then it goes to seven. And then the last one is going to be nine. So this is going to be the last one you're going to do. And then once you have your nine blocks across like this, then what you're going to do is take it up four. So one, two, three, and four. And basically, you just want to pretty much fill this in from one side to the next. And it's really, really easy. So 
I'm just gonna have this run all the way across like this, take it all the way up. And then what you wanna do is basically copy exactly what you did down here up to the level above. So what I mean by this is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. And basically we're gonna do something similar to this on every single side. Before we get to the next side, what I'm gonna do is come two blocks in from the middle of this five blocks here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So you wanna go in up three or down three, depending on which one. And you wanna come in two, so it's kind of centered here. And you wanna come two blocks in and place another block of blue. And you're gonna have this go all the way across the other side until it's two blocks away. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You wanna take up another level of five on the top and the bottom. So now it's a three by five uh, rectangle. And then you wanna take three across the top right here and three across the bottom right there. And that is exactly what we wanna do. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually uh, copy and paste this design on each part of the balloon. So again, this is really simple. You go, you start off with three, then you move to five, then you move to seven, then you move to nine. Once you have your nine, you wanna take it up four blocks and then you just wanna fill it in. So it's basically a five by nine, I guess you could say at that point. So again, just fill it in. And then at the top, you wanna to copy what you did at the bottom, start off with seven going across, and then you wanna to go to five and then three. And then you come in the middle here, come in two, place it across five, put another five blocks on top and our five blocks on bottom for that three by five. Then add a three by one and a three by one right there. And there is our second, uh, I guess, part to this. So we have to do two more. And we're gonna have kind of the, the middle of the balloon filled in. The reason why we're doing it in this order instead of kind of just doing it level by level is because it's very easy to connect the layers once you have, I guess, each corner of the balloon figured out since it is starting to, I guess, turn upward a little bit because we're basically gonna have this lower design uh, on the top as well with a couple of changes to it. So let's just keep on working on this thing real quick. I'm gonna let the daylight cycle run for just a few more seconds here because it is not quite... 100% daytime. It's I need. It could be a little bit more well lit in this world right now. All right. So let's see. We have three, five, seven, nine. So we're gonna go ahead and take this up four blocks to there, and then fill this in. Again, guys, I would say it'll probably take you about 30 minutes or so to build this balloon. Um, if you're building it for the first time, it's not too bad. It's something that you could definitely build uh, multiple times on your world to create um, kind of like a little balloon festival if you want to do something like that. Um, but I like this design and I think I strongly encourage you using different colors than what I'm using um, and also to send me some pictures on Twitter if you end up building this thing because I think it's a pretty cool design. It was one of my favorite Builders Challenge episodes that we did. So um, I like just doing impromptu builds like this and then coming back later and kind of dissecting them and creating a tutorial for them. So it's pretty fun. All right. So we're going to kind of fill this in here. This is the last level and then we're going to start to connect each one of these, I guess, little shields we can call them because they kind of look like shields. Um, going uh, on each edge. So we're gonna kind of fill that up right there. So just double check everything, make sure you have all the, everything correct and symmetrical because sometimes it is hard to keep track because uh, this stuff can get a little bit complicated. These patterns start to get repetitive after a while. All right, so there we go, guys. We have each one of these little shields on each side. So now I'm gonna show you how to connect these things. It's really not too bad. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna come from the corners here, right? And you wanna kinda of come in one block or kinda of place a block and then break it, come in one block and then take that out too. Same thing on this side. And if you did that right, they should connect like that where there's, I guess, another L shape with the block uh, on the corner broken. And then basically what you want to do with this is just kind of take it down uh, two on each level. So go up again two, up again two like this, and then back down as well. And then what you wanna do is just go ahead and start to just add levels of two. So another level of two there another level of two there, and then another part of two right there on the same thing on this side. So just kind of like staircase it uh, inwards, two blocks of wool each time like that. And then on this empty space right here, what we can do is we can fill in that space right there. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and place, uh, what is, let's see here, we have to place a block right there and a block right there. Okay, so when you're at this point here where you kind of have like these three blocks turning like this, the thing that you want to do is go ahead and place an extra block on the edge there and an extra block on the edge there. So you kind of have like this kind of like wavy shape right here. These four blocks, kind of two and then two. And then the last thing you want to do is just go ahead and place blocks on top of that there. And that is how you fill in each one of these corners. So we have one down. So the second one, uh, once you kind of get the first one down, even if you mess up, you know, I can kind of walk you through the second one. So I'll walk you through two uh, just to kind of make sure that it's really, really perfect. So... 
Again, what you want to do is place and break. Again, place and break like this. Connect those, make sure that's right. Take it up two more on the top and on the bottom like this. And then you want to take your two levels down like this and like this. There we go. Same thing on this side. Just take your two blocks across like that. There we go. And then what you want to do is go ahead and fill in a block right there, just like this. So again, once you're at this point, all you got to do is go ahead and do some breaking and placing. There's several ways, different ways you can do this. I think this is the easiest way. Just go ahead and break and place method. Place a block right there, and then you can do the same thing on this side. And then last but not least, just kind of fill in that space right there, that last little open hole, just like that. So we have now two sides of this balloon finished, just like that, as you can see. So let's do the last two sides as well. I'll walk you through all four, just so it's, you know, really repetitive. And you can kind of like, you know, get it installed in your mind. So basically, again, like that. Take it up like this, and like this. Back down the same like that, and like this. And then again, you want to add your levels of two, staircasing down like this, connecting to there. Same thing on this side, or staircases of two, like that. And then you want to place, like in this little opening spot, you want to place your one extra block, so you do a little place and break. And then you do another place and break below that, and you want to just take this down. Same thing on this side, take this down, and then just fill in that last spot right there, and right there. And there you go, guys, that's how that is looking. So we have now three sides done. So let's do the last side rapid fire. So again, place and break, break and place, whatever you want to call it. Same thing on this side. And again, like this. This is one of the more complicated tutorials I've ever done because it's very visual. It's hard for me to kind of explain what I'm doing with words. So um, if you have to pause the video a bunch of times to kind of get this thing, you know, correct, um, it, it's going to take a little bit of practice, no doubt about it, because it is a little bit complicated. So. Again, what you once you once you have kind of the um, the two blocks wide, kind of snaking down, staircasing in towards the middle, uh, then what you want to do is go ahead and place and break. Same thing here, place and break. But on this one, you go ahead and place an extra block below it. Whoops. And same thing here, and then just fill in that last spot right there, and that last spot right there, and just like that, guys, we have uh, a decent chunk of the balloon finished. So we, now we just have to finish up with the top part here. So let's go ahead and get started with this so okay guys so now we're going to get started with the top of the balloon this part is also pretty complicated so just make sure that i'll try to explain it as slow as i can so first thing you're going to do is place a block right there and you're going to place a block right there right so basically above this entire block part right there and then you want to just go ahead and just place a block on each side like that pretty much and then you want to go ahead and place and break fill in a space right there and this is basically you just kind of kind of copy this design. So again, you place another block above that, and then a block on the side, another block above, and then a block on the side. Same over here, like this, just like that, right? Okay. So it basically now it's lined up with the top, the highest point of the balloon so far. All right. So now these two middle points here, you can just basically play, uh, place and break to fill these things in. So place and break. I, I'm doing not a very good job of that right now. All right. So get that filled in right there as well just like that so you have something that looks a little bit like this right and then on this top level what you want to do is go ahead and place a block right there and place a block right there you want to make sure you fill those in okay and then the next thing we're going to do is just basically do this on each side and then we'll come back to the middle so again you place your block there and place your block there and then next to it as well did i forget to set the daylight cycle again i did i'm always forgetting all right I'm so enthralled in the tutorial. So again, place your blocks like that, kind of snaking it up like this. And then you do your classic place and break method to kind of fill in the middle parts here like this. There we go. And then last but not least, you want to add your full block right there and right there. So you have kind of like one block in the middle here, like kind of centralized. And again, we're going to do the same thing for each level. So here and right here just kind of take this up but hopefully i'm doing a good job for you guys um just kind of create like this design is, is complicated so i'm just trying to do my best to make this as simple as possible uh, this is definitely going to be one of the more this was definitely one of the more challenging tutorials to prepare for because i had to like memorize the design which was you know not easy even though you know i, I built it a couple of times before but i hadn't built it in several months so i don't really remember it very well so i had to kind of memorize the design so definitely one of the more challenging uh tutorials but I think that's kind of like a good thing about tutorial because it should be something that's not just really general and easy to build. It should be something that's, 
you know, not obviously straightforward, you know what I mean? So I, I think this is kind of good. Okay, so I think we have all four sides filled in now, so you should have something a little bit like this from an aerial view, and then from a side view on each side like that. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to place a block right here, and I'm going to run it across to right here. So it should be five blocks across just like that, and this is going to go on every single level here. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and break a block right there. So it's actually just going to be three. So just kind of place and break and place three going all the way around. And that will be uh, our start. And then we're going to go from there. So something a little bit like that. Okay. So then the next thing you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place a block right there. Kind of on each one of these corners here. Just kind of come in and place and break. So like this. Whoops. This goes all the way around. We're getting pretty close though, guys. It's not too much more to do um, on this thing. Again, the top part is probably the hardest part. So... Uh, I guess just fasten your seatbelts for this part, guys. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and place and break again. And then this is going to go out two on each side. So place and break again and goes out two. And if you do that right, it should connect to the middle. So again, same thing on this side. Place and break. Place and break. And it should connect again right to the middle like this. Okay. And uh, what's going on over here? This looks bizarre. Did I mess this part up or something? Oh, you know what? I forgot to add this right there. That's why that looked weird. Okay, it's been fixed now. There we go. And there we go. All right, so now we have each one of those levels filled in like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place a block on top of the single block that's next to the three blocks wide. And then you're just going to go ahead and place a block across there. So that's five blocks across, kind of going above that. So just basically run this across right there on each one of the corners like this. And there we go. So now we have all four of those on each side. And then what you want to do is go ahead and place two blocks on the inside of this like this. Just kind of run this around on each corner. And again, we're getting pretty close to connecting this thing to the top. So you kind of, it'll all come together very nicely at the top. Um, you want to make sure that it's not like pointy at the top or anything like that because, you know, that would pose some issues. But now what you want to do is place and break to kind of fill in the last part of this layer. But again, it goes kind of, I guess it goes one, two, three, four, five, and then two in kind of overlapping and then one. So again, we're placing our one right now, just like that. Okay guys, so now we're doing the last two layers. So the next layer is a little bit tricky because it's gonna be a little bit wider. So what you're gonna do is place a block and break, go three blocks in on each side, place a block and break, three blocks in like this, whoops. And like that. Next thing you're going to do is go ahead and take a lining of seven going all the way across on the inside level here. So you don't have to take this up or anything like that. Just take it across seven blocks on the inside level and it should connect just fine to each corner if you do it properly. So again, going, whoops, going all the way across. Whoop, oh, I keep messing this up. Okay. So when you have that, right? The next thing you want to do is go ahead and place two blocks on the corners like this. Well, you have to place two here and then it'll only be one right there. So I guess kind of two and one creating, it's really like three on kind of like a corner angle. So again, two and one and two and one. And that is the completion of that layer. And then the very last thing you got to do is go ahead and place again, break and place three blocks in on each side. Okay. Like this. And this is the last level guys to finish off the balloon. Okay, right here. And then the last thing you got to do is just go ahead and just fill in the rest of the space. So this part, you know, you don't need to break in place because we are at the point where we're just filling in. So this is going to go all the way around like this. And then just like that, boom, the entire balloon is filled in. And there you go, guys. You kind of have the, the design of the balloon is finished. Now we can get to adding some nice patterns and things like that to it. So I'm going to clear my inventory and add some nice details to it. Uh, things I'm going to do for this is I'm going to add some iron blocks to my inventory. I'm also going to grab some nether rack and I'm going to grab some flint and steel. And I'm also going to go ahead and grab some lime wool, some uh, light gray wool, and some light blue wool. And I think we're going to also grab some upside down. Well, we're going to grab some oak woods there that we're going to place upside down on each one of these corners. And actually, we could also use fences as well. So I'm going to grab those uh, fences. Where are those at? Here we go. So what I'm going to do right here 
is I'm going to place uh, upside down stairs on each one of these corners here. This is just going to add a little bit of depth to this pouch here so it's not just looking kind of uh, bland. And then what you want to do is on the uh, spruce wood level, you want to go ahead and add some fences going all the way around. And if you just so happen to build this after the next update for Xbox Minecraft, you can actually add your spruce wood fences there if you want. Because those are coming out pretty soon. So uh, that is pretty much it for the pouch. The next thing you want to do is actually add like the hot air generator thing that allows the balloon to float. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break a block into the ground here. And if you did this right, you should have an extra layer of slabs below that. So that should not be exposed to the outside. And I basically just want to take iron going all the way up to right here. Um, where the point where it's kind of like just uh, going above the edge of the balloon here. Replace that top block with a nether rack and then place the um, fire above that. And that's going to be kind of like the little blowtorch that f uh, lights up the balloon. Um, you want to make sure fire spread is off in your world or it'll burn the entire thing. And that would be not very good. Uh, we're also going to grab some stone brick stairs and kind of just add some of that going all the way around the edges of the nether rack so it's not showing because that would look bad. And then you can also even add an anvil to your inventory here and place an anvil like that just so it kind of looks like a little mechanism. Uh, and then the last thing you can do is also grab a tripwire hook and you could even place like something like that. And that could be like the lever where you kind of like activate the flames. So um, that is pretty much it for the, I guess, the structure of the balloon. So now we can add some aesthetic features real quick before we conclude today's tutorial. Again, I hopefully, hopefully I was able to explain this to my best of my ability, guys. It's a pretty complicated design. So uh, I have to kind of like memorize the design while explaining it and make sure I'm doing it right. So it was definitely a challenge for me creating something like this. So uh, hopefully I did a good enough job for you guys. So what I'm going to do basically for this is I'm going to create a lining of white wool kind of going all the way around. And I'm just going to call this white wool even though it's light gray. I pretty much always do that anyway. So um, it's light gray wool in the say texture pack. If you're using a different one, uh, you can use pretty much any colors you want though. That's pretty much up to you, which is why I'm using the city. All right. So this is going to run all the way around basically like this, just kind of connecting. Uh, make sure you just kind of replace the block that you've placed with the white. The reason why I don't do this originally is because it's much easier to create the design when you're just using one color because it can get a little bit complicated. I'd recommend doing this. Just wait until you're finished the actual structure of the balloon before you actually decide to add um, fancy designs to it. And you can add some really fancy designs to this thing. Um, I'm just going to do something simple. But uh, I'm going to do the same exact design I did for the Builder's Challenge, which is kind of like I'm going to do a green ring with a couple of, uh, with a small design in the middle. And this is basically going to go around. This doesn't even really need explanation. It's really simple. All you got to do is just kind of replace the blocks with the corresponding color, and you'll be absolutely golden. So, all right, we have that level now. So let's go ahead and do one more. We're going to do three blocks on each one, and then I'm going to line it with a little bit of uh, light blue wool. But again, guys, uh, I want to thank you very much for following along with the tutorial. Again, if you want to send me some pictures of the finished product on Twitter, that would that'd be awesome. I'd really like to see that and see if you guys come up with any different color designs or stuff like that. But um, again, this was probably one of the more complicated tutorials I've ever done. So um, I appreciate you guys kind of sticking through and watching the whole thing at this point. So um, yeah, this was this was tough. But uh, you know, I think this was a really cool design when I built it, and I want to eventually turn it into something where I could teach you guys how to do it. So I was able to do that in this video, and I'm happy about that. So basically what I'm doing right now is adding a ring of light blue, and the idea here is that it's kind of transitioning from the dark blue all the way to white, kind of like on a fade. So it kind of fades from, you know, the blue to the light blue to the white, you know what I mean? So um, I think this looks pretty good, and we're going to add another level down here. And then after that, I'm just going to add a couple of rings of uh, lime green wool, and then we're going to be done. Okay, so this is the last level right here, kind of going all the way around. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, just kind of fill this in. I would say this thing, uh, there's a lot of patterns you can definitely do. I would like actually recommend like Googling a picture of a hot air balloon to find a, kind of find some cool patterns because they have some really, really cool patterns if you just kind of look around for them. So for this lime wool ring that I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go up four blocks. So I'm going to have kind of have uh, four blocks of blue in between the light blue and the lime. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to do my lime wool level right here. And this is going to go all the way around. Alrighty, guys. So I went ahead and added my rings of lime green. And that's how it looks, guys. There is a finished product for my hot air balloon design. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys built this thing. Um, I love this design. I think it's really cool. I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys. So um, give this video a like if you did enjoy it and if you were able to build this thing. And it has been your friendly neighborhood, Dan Langs. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Peace out.